Welcome back to our third men's cup quarterfinal between the Tennessee Elite and the Lemurs. We are gonna take a look at their action yesterday. I'm Wendy Young with Tim Sigmund. Yeah, good display yesterday for Tennessee Elite. Started out 3-0, you can see here in action against the Outlaws. Uh, excuse me, that's actually the Lemurs we're seeing here against the Outlaws. They had a good showing in the first match. Really, their only loss yesterday as they went 2-1 and one was against Nav 7s. Uh, overall, a pretty good showing for them as they went through. But, uh, uh, you know, both these teams showed the ability to put some points on the board yesterday. Uh, Tennessee Elite having maybe a slightly easier pool uh, to get through, um, handling each team going 3-0 and as they went through their pool play. Uh, this should be a fairly even match from what we saw yesterday. Both teams able to distribute pretty well. Defense, defense seemed to be the difference between the two sides. And so it'll be interesting to see how Tennessee is able to hold up against this Lemurs attack because they haven't really been tested that hard yeah. uh, in day one. Yeah, and the strip as these teams are running out, uh, finishing up this package, you'll see them in a moment. But the Lemurs, mostly based out of Austin, got a lot of Austin Blow players in there and a couple ringers. So they will be in that turquoise with the pink strip and the white shorts. And the Elite have a little bit more of a red on their sleeve. So it's still turquoise, but black shorts. So we'll try to keep that clear for you. And Justin Hale in the center, also gonna have to deal with that challenge. But we appreciate you joining us here for 2023 Freetail Sevens, the New Year's Eve Rugby Bash, getting us going. The Elite will kick off. And as we mentioned yesterday, they were 3 0 yesterday, but maybe a slightly easier pool where the Lemurs had to fight for it. 2 1 yesterday, but they begin the attack out on the edge. And now, just bringing that back into the field of play, will stretch the field and use every inch of this beautiful green grass at Round Rock Multipurpose Complex. You can see them now. It's into Hodgkinson's hands. Good recycle, looking for space here. Making some moves, but defense holding strong so far. Patient by the lemurs on the attack, just kind of probing. There's a small mistake, but picked up by the lemurs again with that pink on their shoulders and the white shorts. This man loves to smash, so this must be the game plan. Because that is not a man, Spencer Cameron, that we often see pull back like that. Here's another test for the lemurs inside that five meter channel. Be measured by the lemurs. Maybe they know what's in front of them today. It's Medina, Patrick Medina, is of course his father, Rick Medina, longtime Austin Black. Elite's gonna take over here. Pass just not quite to hand. This is a good position for the elite. Inside the 22 now, just outside of it. Excuse me, these orange lines, making a little bit difficult for us to see. Probably better for you on the stream today. Brought to us by Next Level Rugby. Oh, beautiful dummy switch there by the Elite. And finally able to keep that one in. This is gonna be tight, it's in the corner. He's dancing. And this one is going to be touched down by the Elite. What a score there by the Elite. We were calling him Messy Bun yesterday, but now we still don't have his jersey another, unfortunately, so it's gonna stay with Messy Bun. <laughs> Let us know how they feel about that in the chat. Just, you know, a good display there. It, lemurs were trying to be patient in their attack, work their way through the phases, and just a loose ball there here at the end, and they're able to dash around the outside. Good job not being pushed into touch and leaving that ball behind for the support to pick up and be able to score. And that conversion's good, and so they're out for a 7-0 lead here at the beginning of the first half. Really good effort by the elite thinking that this one, just like the last match, gonna be really close. And the last match before this one, ending in a draw. We did see a draw yesterday. Ball went over. It's Ball so went tough over. to go through in the quarterfinals. We're almost praying for another team to also make a draw happen. That conversion was good. So we have a score of seven to zero, Tennessee That's Elite with an early please. lead. But not expecting the Lemurs to stand down very experienced side. Nice high restart. And all the blue teams go up for it. Penalty. It's the elite hitting him in the air. See if he's okay. Here's he gets to his feet. Maybe milking that a little bit for the call, perhaps. Yeah. But glad to see him get up off the ground. 
Let's see what the lemurs do here. Let's just going to go for to touch. Maybe able to hear that wind. It's a bit more than yesterday. You went up for the ball five, it was almost gusting this morning. Went, oh, it is pretty yeah. constant. It's a gorgeous though. 53 degrees doesn't feel like 53. I bet out in the sun, we're a little bit in the shade here. But out in the sun, I'm betting it's feeling in the 60s already and we are expecting mid 70s. So it's gonna get steamy this afternoon. See, Lemur's been pretty good on the set piece throughout the tournament, so I expect them to be able to pull this down. I wonder what they're going to try to pull off here in the back line. All right, we're hearing it's Kenny Jenkins' messy button. Thank you very much. We'll make note of that as the Lemur's turn the corner here. It's brought down. Picked up again, that's Kenny. Ball's loose, Lemur's get it back. His play here to the outside. He's got space out wide if they can use it, but not able to go to hand. Still working his way through. And into contact. Lemur's good job supporting here, but just looking for that bit of space and maybe finding it here on the outside. Yeah, deciding to cut back now, not quite being feeling that speed around the corner. Do you have an overlap on this side, but now it's into Elite's hands again. It's Jenkins from Nola. Another knock on. So we'll slow this one down. We'll get down to the scrum. I don't want it. Yeah, it's charge ball. <laughs> you know, Lemurs right now looking, they're trying to find that space on the outside, but just not able to really get there. You can see here, there's the loose pass, and it goes forward for that knock on. And the lead able to put it in here. You know, two minutes left, just about halfway there in the midfield. And the lead, you know, really hasn't had that much possession. So it'll be interesting to see what their attack will look like here off a set piece for the first time. Yeah, good ball. Making it tight. Beautiful step there. Wow. Stepping everyone. And he has got the wheels. Elite going to go up 12 to 0 as long as he can touch this down. The ankle tap coming in and the emphatic slam down. What a score that is by the Elite. That's Coop with the score, wearing that number six. Great job by him, great finish. You know, all weekend he's been having the real smooth runner, change of place, able to accelerate, slow down, kind of fool people with ball movement. And right there doing the same thing. You see here him coming off the back. He's gonna get that little juke back to the inside and watch the breakaway speed here. Just accelerates his way away. Thought those chasers might have a shot, but no, no way. It says his nickname here is God Mode, <laughs> and he turned it on right there to put the extra seven on the board as that conversion is successful. <laughs> that is a fantastic nickname. Some of these nicknames, they come from the players, so you never yeah. know, <laughs> is this one I've bestowed on myself, yeah. or has it been given to me by my teammates? Because yeah. sometimes the ones you get from your teammates are unfortunate, you know? <laughs> you think of a couple that my men's college team, they were not kind to each other. Not available for print. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's absolutely fantastic, keeping that one in, Jenkins. So Elite getting their own restart, and looking down the barrel of potentially three tries here, but plenty of time to go in this game. The biggest dummy ever thrown there, didn't fool anyone. Now into contact is the Elite. Lemurs coming in, time to counter Ruck. It's messy ball. Now they've got it, Coleman trying and trying. Small no, knock on there. Not. See if we've got any more time. Justin Hale does not. Elite will go into the first half of this men's cup quarterfinal, the third round, 14 to zero over the Lemurs. We'll step away, but we'll be back in a moment. Freaking earpiece doesn't want to stay here. Out at keeper, you gotta help with that. That's all right. Boys, they're talking, chatting loud. 
I think. One, two, three, three defense. Defense. There we go, boys. Go. Keep it up, keep it up. Hey. Start tackling. <laughs> We're back. Our third men's cup quarterfinal at Freetail Sevens. Only New Year's Eve rugby bash in the world. Hope you're here watching online with Next Level Rugby, or you can come down in person. The crowd is starting to fill out. Tennessee Elite, 14 to zero, two converted tries. Lemurs have had their chances, but they have been a little bit far and few between, Tim. Yeah, you know, the Lemurs, uh, they did a good job holding on there at the end of the first half, not allowing in that third try, which would have been a real trouble. They find themselves looking for with two converted tries, so they still have a chance in this match, but getting this restart would be huge. They don't, Elite, Backed up in their own 22. This is Jenkins. He has been instrumental for the elite. Now out to the edge. We've got some space. Little stutter step to try to hold that defense. Beating one, two. Fantastic footwork. Now giving that outlet to his teammates. Big overlap out right. Three on one right here. Jenkins and Coop. Coop has been that linchpin in the middle for the elite. Seeing the space on the outside. Here comes the lazy switch. And lazy is not meant to be a bad word. It just means they're drawing it out. And now penalty coming, ball carrier, just no support there. So Lemurs will have a chance here. They are gonna go quick. Take a kick over the top, nobody home. But no chase from the Lemurs beyond the kicker. So Elite will pick this up with just a little bit of pressure coming. And have a chip kick. That one off the hands of Lemurs, so we should have a scrum. Yes, Hale will bring us back. Interesting that Lemurs didn't have the chase there. Not sure if they didn't yeah, know the call of the play or just weren't feeling it. Yeah, it looks like they weren't feeling it. That player who wasn't chasing there on the outside on the right wing is coming off the field and being replaced. So maybe a little gassed. Maybe celebrating New Year's Eve a little early perhaps last night. But uh, good option for them, honestly, right there. Flip the field, get out of your own half, yeah. try to get an opportunity, a decent chase. Unfortunately, a knock on there on that pass by them. But... Uh, a scrum here and maybe a strong push. They're going to be looking for the turnover. Uh, Coop will have to put in here. Final to the hooker. Yeah, elite. The hooker. Good position for them. Quote. Do you like to work off of this platform, the scrum? I need a bind, 10. More than Set. guaranteed to get your ball back. There are, we saw a lot in the women's game where a pushover took it from them, but clean for Coop. Let him go, let him go. He's going to have that little goose step out to his teammate, but a huge tackle coming in from behind. So this should be a lemur scrum. So now lemur's in a good position. And with five and a half on the clock, they really need to take advantage of this. Yeah, definitely. Great aggressive chase there by the scrum half to come out that backside and force that mistake and that handling here. They've got lots of wide field to work with here. See if Elite can cover as lemur's are on the attack. You have to start on that side. Hey guys, too much, too reset much there on the scrum. The I got said the wind's supposed to be switching around today, so I think it may become a factor as we get later in the afternoon. It is definitely blowing more than it was yesterday. You're right, it was blowing your papers to the left, and now it's blowing your papers to the right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a little bit of a mess there from the lemurs, but now out to the centers. That's Medina, the carry, and another, just a couple of mishandles here and there for both sides. That fatigue from day one perhaps setting in making it a little bit more difficult for these sides. Unfortunate handling there, handling error there for the lemurs. Tried to stretch and bring that in, instead just slammed it to his own stomach and dropped it. Just a few mistakes by both teams here, and the bad news for the lemurs is the clock keeps running. And, you know, this wind, I think, if the lemurs are able to score, may affect these conversions. They need two converted tries to catch up, so it could play a factor. Yeah, and they're being a bit starved of possession. Has Elite have it again? Repeating those same players. What a kick through. That is, and he's got some wheels to back it up. Does get into Lemur's hand. Immediately swarmed on. Now switching directions. A little bit disorganized, the Lemur's. This one a little footsie. Big tackles coming in from the Elite. Big dummy there, but no one fooled. Stepping two. 
three. Finally brought down. We do have a Lemurs player down. His hands there to grab this one. It's a three on two. He can get it out to his teammates. Big, huge tackle coming in. That is a massive blow. That one you're going to feel tomorrow and maybe the next day. Because I don't think the penalty is for the dangerous tackle. I think it's for something else. So we may get to see a replay here. Go ahead, Tim. Yeah, it's got, that was a double whammy right there. That was a momentum and a spine. Right there. So completely stop the attack. Trying to listen to the referee there. So ball carrier not releasing. Here's that replay. Here it is. So just lifts him up. Wham! Slams him down. Not released him during that tackle and trying to recover possession. So referee Justin Hale right so needed. calls yeah, a penalty. And that one, you know, you're really a Q at former referee here. So Q, you're looking for that elbow to go up and to get that past that 90 degrees when you're going to start looking at that dangerous play. So it did hold him in place. Did was deemed dangerous there. One more look at it. There's the elbow, that cue that the referees are looking at. And that one actually facing the AR, so you're looking for a little bit of AR support there. It's well job done by the officials. And now at the line out, not straight. So now the Lemurs with another chance. Two minutes to go though. They've got a lot of work in front of them. Two converted tries as you said earlier. And another smashing blow from the Elite. Kick. Who are just slamming the car door shut on Lemurs right now. And now they've taken this over. Advantage load, over. what a kick that is. Nobody at home. Logan is tracking back on this far left side for the Lemurs. And it's into the hands of Wilson first. He is fighting his way in the scrum cap there. It's trademark cap on his head. Logan out to the wing now. Lemurs have got a long way to go, 90 seconds. Nope, you missed it. Elite still in there, just making this so difficult. Now some space on the outside for the Lemurs. It's going to come down to a foot race. And now the Fend. It's going to be bundled, trying to stay in the touch. That one's going to be a dangerous tackle again. Now the double whistle comes. Yeah, a little high there on that one. You can see the Lemurs attack getting a little more desperate here. Hey, Cap, they're trying to find some three. sort of space. And Tennessee's just slamming the Three. That second time, mate. It's, I gave you the high tackle and you started to start. There it is, Justin Hale giving that yellow card. We get one more yeah, look at it. Down. Kind of a do toe -do choke hold move. Yeah. Yep, it's gonna be a turnover. Yeah. Yep. see that one be a legal fact. No. Yeah. <laughs> Football all day, but not in rugby. We want to protect our players. They will be down. Man. That is not what they wanted with 50 We're seconds to go. And Lemurs rightly calling for the scrum. We're They're going to manage this clock. To me. Get it down to under 30 to seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're at four time in the game. Slow it down. Make a few replacements. Hey, hey. Get tired legs off the field so you can hold on to this two try lead. Hey, four times. Four times. Yes. Coach. The Lemurs as well. They've got this just so difficult already. 3v2 in the back line. You got to bind 10. You have to choose who you're going to cover. Set. And you know putting it in the scrum half is going to take a chance here. Going down that weak side. Little kick inside. Loose ball. Looks like the Lemurs have jumped on it. Nope, nope. Leave work it, hard leave though. It. Elite in there. Trying to poach this one. There's the Hooter. Lemurs with a last chance. Have to go 80 meters. They've made some of it. He has got some massive long legs. Trying to outlast the defense. Got to release. Oh, they're on him. There is a poacher in there. There comes the penalty. That will seal the deal for the elite. Leave it. Gentlemen's niceties. After that, an elite gonna attempt to put this into touch. It's not a great kick. So we'll see where it goes. Now the follow-up kick. Congratulations to the elite. Keep that record of four and zero, oh, and they will move on. And we'll step away in a moment, but coming up, our last men's quarter cup final: Faith Rugby versus Austin Hunts. Stick with us. We will be back in a moment.